As we work with water pumps, we find that pressure is presented to us in two common units. These are PSI, pounds per square inch, or feet of head. As we size a pumping system, we will want to accomplish building pressure, which usually is given in PSI. The relationship between PSI and feet of head is that 2.31 feet of head equals one PSI. Translated, that means that a column of water one inch square, 2.31 feet tall, weighs one pound, or that one foot column of water, one inch square, weighs 0.433 pounds. The two numbers, 0.433 and 2.31, are the conversion numbers used to convert from one unit to the other. As we learned in school, to solve a problem, we need to be in common units. So as we work through a problem, we need to convert to the unit that is most common, which is feet of head. So you ask, why this exercise? As we size pumps and plumbing, we will work between feet of head and PSI routinely and need to be familiar with the units, where they come from. So with one cubic foot of water holding 7.48 gallons and the weight of one gallon of water being 8.33 pounds, we get 62.37 pounds per cubic foot of water. Don't become confused with mass and pressure. If we lift our one cubic foot of water to 23.1 feet of elevation, we will only generate 10 PSI of pressure at the bottom where we started as opposed to the 62.37 pounds mass that we lifted up in the air. So let's take the knowledge that we have learned and put it to practical use. Let's say we have a lake cottage on top of the bank and want to know how much pressure our pump is going to need to push the water to the top of the hill. We don't have time for a surveyor or the money, but we still need to know the elevation change from the lake level to the cottage. If we take a garden hose or tube and run it up the hill, put a pressure gauge at the bottom and then fill the hose or tube with water, we can tell what the elevation is on the hill. If the gauge reads 40 PSI when the hose is filled with water, we know that the elevation is 92.4 feet. We simply take 40 PSI times 2.31, which equals 92.4 feet. Now this is not distance, but feet of head. We may have run 1,000 feet to rise 92.4 feet, but either way, we will have 40 PSI to overcome to pump water to the top of the hill. To illustrate the effects and relationship of head versus PSI under static conditions, we must note several items. First, the amount of water with the same height will give the same pressure at the bottom, no matter how many gallons in the tank or the size of the pipe. Remember, we said not to confuse mass with pressure. The common element is the head, which is 115.5 feet, and if we divide that amount by 2.31, we will come up with 50 PSI. These conditions are true for static conditions. If the water starts to flow, then we will incur friction loss, and for the same height of water, we will have less pressure at the bottom. We will discuss friction loss in another video when we have more time.